Off Day, I'm Crystal Paco and welcome to The Good Life. Whether it's a gala, an art exhibit, or even a fiesta, we feature what makes Guam so good. We start off our show featuring the Guam Chamber of Commerce Rock Gala 91. Yeah. The chamber is celebrating its uh, 91st uh, anniversary gala, and it's, uh, the theme is Rock 91. So uh, we're featuring a, 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 just a, a bunch of classic rock music. Uh, but really the highlight of the event is the uh, recognition of our anniversary, uh, our chamber company celebrating their milestone anniversaries, and then our Business Hall of Fame laureate. Uh, but it's a great theme and it's a great night. The chamber's been around for, wow, nine decades. And uh, when you think about how the chamber has impacted uh, Guam's uh, economy, Guam's uh, quality of life, I mean, the chamber contributes a lot. And they, and I, I personally think that they, they don't get the recognition that they deserve. And when I, when I say that, I'm talking about our chamber companies. The chamber are the companies, the businesses that are going in out, out, out there day in, day out, trying to make a living, trying to, uh, you know, trying to, uh, 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 boost the, the our economy and provide uh, you know provide a, a living for their their employees and provide tax revenues for the island and uh, that's all part of, of, of uh, growing our economy. I've been here 50 years. I'm a certified financial planner. My goal is to teach people how to use money more efficiently, more effectively. And so every day that's what I do um, for my business. But I'm involved in many, many, many other things. And in one year I served, well, I was involved in the JCs for many years, but I became the world president. So I traveled around the world, I've been to 100 countries, and uh, making speeches on self-development and goal setting and achievement and being becoming all you can be. You know, that's what we all should be doing. And so uh, in everything I do, I try to, try to inspire people to become more, to do more.
afternoon. More of The Good Life coming up. and welcome back to The Good Life. I'm Crystal Paco. Cancer is a disease that affects everyone in Guam one way or another. In this next feature, we take you to an event that seeks to raise awareness about breast cancer. is very involved in the American Cancer Society Relay for Life and four years ago we wanted to host signature events where not only our customers and our employees can come out but all of Guam can participate and so this is where we came up with the Pink Sipper wine tasting event where all proceeds will benefit the American Cancer Society Relay for Life but it also is to raise awareness about breast cancer and so it's something that has grown from something small to what it is today where we expect 250 to 300 people to attend and we expect this to grow every year just because it not only benefits a great cause, the American Cancer Society Relay for Life, but it's also a way for people to learn more about breast cancer and how to prevent it and uh, different programs we offer here on Guam. GTA is a presenting sponsor for the American Cancer Society Relay for Life uh, for 2015. And it's important to GTA because cancer affects us all. It not only affects um, the people that we work with, but it also affects people that we know, our friends, our close family members. And so uh, when we decided to come up with the Pink Sipper, we wanted it not only to go to a good cause, but for people to get more involved. And um, it's been a great cause so far, and, and we're very happy with the turnout. And, we look forward to many years of partnerships with not only the sponsors that help us each year, but also those who come out, the survivors that come out each year, not only to support, but to you know, make, make people aware of the, the different programs that we have going on here, um, not only at GTA, but on Guam.
So GTA is a very active supporter of the American Cancer Society Relay for Life, and all proceeds collected tonight, and as long as well as our tissue tune-up 5,000, all go to uh, the Relay for Life. GTA is a presenting sponsor, as I mentioned earlier, um, and it's very meaningful to us um, because each year we come out in full force at the Relay for Life. Uh, we have a large team that stays uh, from the beginning to the end, and. Um, cancer affects us all and the more people get involved the more people learn about um, cancer itself and how to pre pre prevent it the more um, support the American Cancer Society will receive and so GTA is uh, continuously going to be we're going to continue to do this um, not only for the people that we know but for Guam itself. Cheers to everyone who's doing their part to spread awareness about cancer and the fine folks at GTA and the American Cancer Society. Keep it here, more on The Good Life Returns. Day and welcome back to The Good Life, KUAM's new show featuring all the beauty and goodness of Guam and the events happening around the island. In our next report, we take you to Kaha for an art exhibit featuring Ruby Jane Buhane Radilla, the writer and producer of the movie Madame, and her story behind Solace. Solace is an auction exhibition presented by the Guam Council of the Arts and Humanities Agency. Um, uh, a lot of my uh, artwork from uh, two years ago up to uh, the production of Madame the Movie are uh, exhibited here and were inspired by uh, the short film Madame. I think my favorite piece are the very first paintings that I uh, did, which was two years ago. Uh, which are my, it's my daughter and, and my son. Um, I did this uh, way before Madame, and, but it's the first two pieces that inspired me to kind of like paint and, and, and just keep on painting.
the goal really is to um, allow the all the artwork to kind of resonate and move, you know, people and bring the awareness of violence against women and human sex trafficking. Um, that's really the uh, the the goal of, of these artwork. The money will go towards the production of Madame the Feature Length Film. Although we had a successful um, screening at the University of Guam Film Festival, there's still a lot more stories to tell. Um, it only touches the premise of the movie. Um, you know, the um, characters are so complex. Uh, there's so much more um, plots that, that needs to be told. And so the hope is to produce that film, which is going to take a lot of money, and so, uh, you know, this fundraising event is, is one of the ways that we can, um, you know, get support from the community. Stay tuned, more of The Good Life coming up. and welcome back. We're about to wrap up our show, but before we do, we want to continue to showcase all that makes life in Guam good. Like, say for example, the Lupus Awareness Group of Guam, who recently held a wave to shed light on the illness. actually was established um, 2012 just a bunch of us got together uh, six six ladies got together talking about starting this organi organization um, and so we just said okay let's do it and today three years later we're still going with um, a lot of new members coming on board before we began was you know, there, there was no resources on Guam with those afflicted with lupus, and that's was just it. Um, a lot of the people that, has, that were sick just had nowhere to go. And so um, they found out that there was a group that knew each other who were afflicted with lupus and said, you know, why don't we get an organization together and let's create an outreach because it seems to me that we need to rely on each other. You know, Guam does not have a rheumatologist, and when they do, it, they, they come in to at least, you know, do some clinic hours. So they oftentimes would have to go off island to seek, you know, medical help. And so because of this, because of that, um, we established this group, the organization. And from there, we didn't even have statistics. did last year um, we found very important like she said we want to and our mission is to establish that data uh, data registry, uh, registry for the local to find out how many people on Guam um, what we know just being a part of this organization learning from different is they get um, they get diagnosed off-island so their numbers are off-island they're being registered 
in the U.S. or wherever, but here we want to know how many are, you know, how many on Guam. Uh, right now, I, all I can tell you is the number of members in our group, but some are supporters, some are actual patients. And then we also um, have quite a few of the patients being referred by their doctors to our group, not to diagnose, but just to find the support, um, talk to each other, and, and that's what helps them. Uh, basically do monthly membership activities. Um, we hold it every month, uh, usually, usually the second Tuesday of the month, um, and we either do just a support session, reach out to each other. We actually get speakers, different type of medical professionals to come out. Last week we had a nutritionist come to us, talked about the different um, ways to you know, stay healthy that'll help with your lupus, or we actually have activities like picnics, Easter egg hunts, just to try to um, stay together and say, hey, we're here. What is nice is that, you know, somebody who has not been diagnosed comes to us, they sit down, they talk to three different patients and they kind of, wow, I have that. Uh, every, you know, every patient is different. So when they come to our membership meeting, it's about finding support, meeting somebody who has or is going through the same thing and establishing that, you know, um, connection share their medication information to the point where we're sharing okay here's doctor so and so call him you know that's what we're doing here that's it for me on this edition of the good life we leave you tonight with highlights from the coconut festival in inner Rahan. be good guam